So let's go to tear meniscus here, click on that. Shows you the placido ring device again, and we double click on the tear meniscus to take the information. We ask the patient then, we'll do it on the right eye here. We ask the patient to look straight ahead and just keep blinking. It's important just to focus on the, the image here, either through the internal focus okay. within the software or on the hand device, and we're measuring that. Select an image and then close. You can then go through the processing procedure. Again, calibrating the device by adjusting the green circle over the pupil area, then magnifying and bringing this up, we place the cursor and click on the top of the tear meniscus site, then the bottom on the lid margin itself, and that can then be adjusted in its orientation, and it gives us a tear meniscus height, in this case of 0.27 millimeters, which is a normal tear meniscus height. We can go further and actually analyze five different portions along the lower lid margin here to determine the overall quality of that tear film and the quantity, the volume of the tears. The volume of the tears is essential in terms of determining whether or not we have an aqueous deficiency of the tears and that would be uh, the aqueous deficient dry eye that we're talking about. You can see here the numbers vary and you can select one of those images and one of those calculations from the screen up here and save that or if you'd like to delete it you can delete or select and once you've selected that we end up with saving and that will again give us an indication again once more on the traffic light system the green through red.